welcome back to my channel living linux today i'm going to change uh, or replace the emmc chip the first pinebook pro i got uh, was let's just say the community edition it came with 128 gigabytes emmc chip but i prefer the nc keyboard so I'm going to put the 128 gigabyte chip into the ANSI model. Now, you can see the screws. I'm going to open them. And the ones at the bottom, they're not as long as the ones on the middle and at the back Oops. And a little warning, when you open electrical equipment, like a laptop, you have to be a little bit careful with static electricity. And yeah, you know, it can also depend on if you have like a wooden floor or if you have like wooden carpet and what type of clothes you're wearing these can all add to the risk of static electricity and yeah what some people do is that they are close to some big metal objects like a radiator a heater and then they touch the heater just before they start working on sensitive electronic equipment this is the last one to cooperate that easily uh, you need a very tiny screwdriver There it goes. And now we can open and I haven't really figured out what is the easiest way to open it. But I think somewhere here. Hmm. It did work a bit easier. When I did it with the other one, so I'm not really sure why this one isn't really cooperating. Oh, well. There it goes. And you have to be a bit careful because the speakers, they are glued. And, oops, there it goes. And they are glued to the bottom, but in this case that's not really that handy. Because we would 
prefer to have it glued on this side. So I'm putting it back here. And I think these are the cables um, that you can connect when the battery is not connected and you want to power up the machine. And I think this is where you can put the M2 SSD, but I'm not going to do that today. So here's the eMMC chip. You can see it's 64 gigabytes. You can just Pull it off like this. It only has one, only one connector on that side. We're going to put back the 128 gigabyte chip. And I hope it's fixed properly. So in this case, just in case it's not fixed properly. We just do a quick test. To see. Oops. There it goes. Oh, it powers on. I think you can see the LED. And there you have the boot screen. So it's not too hard to replace the eMMC chip. And again, be a bit careful with uh, static electricity. And I think if you want to try this yourself, then you should be fine. So I hope you found this video uh, to have some good information for you. And well, I guess I won't have to show you how to put the screws back in. And I hope to see you in the next video.